Hey guys, this is Computer Techie, and today I'm going to show you how to create a custom 20th Century Fox intro using 3D software called Blender. If you don't have Blender, go ahead and open up your internet browser and go onto this website, download.cnet.com, and it should direct you to this website right here. On the top of the website, type in Blender into the search bar and then click on the search button. On the page of search results, select the top one. It says Blender by itself, and click on Download Now. Whenever you download Blender, it's also going to take you to a website called python.com, or python.org. Download it too, because you have to have Python and Blender together for it to work. So once you've had uh, Py or Python and Blender downloaded, go on to woodyfamilycinema.com. This is where you're going to download the 20th Century Fox Blender template. Hold on one minute. Okay, so you should see this website. On the top, select Custom Intros and Projects. And here you, sh you should see a list. There's a Walt Disney intro, a Touchstone intro, and a Universal intro. See this one right here. This is for uh, Fox. So click on fox.zip and then click save. I've already saved it so I'm just going to close out of that. And now I'm going to open up my downloads folder which is where it saved it into. Find the one that says Fox, open it up, and then click Fox again. Now go down to the one that says Fo Fox dash cinema and then it should open it up. It should open up Blender and the template. Okay, so it should say Woody Family Cinema in high definition. To change the text, right-click on the Woody Family Cinema, then click Tab on your keyboard. You can scroll over to the very right and then just backspace, and it should remove your text. Now I'll change it into Computer Techie. Then click Tab again. Now on this, ru this red bar, just click on the red square and drag out, and it should make your text larger. Then click A to deselect it. Now I'm going to do the same thing for in high. Just right click, click tab, backspace. This one I'm going to put pictures. Whoops. Press tab, drag the little red thing. And then I'm going to click A on my keyboard. Now I'm going to do it for a definition too. So just right click, click tab, go all the way to the right, backspace and I'll put in presents. Press tab again and then I'll just press A after I've done that. So that's all I'm going to do with my text. So once you've edited your text, make sure that your size X is 1280, 1280 and your size Y is 720. Then down here Make sure this is AVI JPEG. Now, all the way over to your left, you should see a small little folder button. This is where you're going to determine where you're going to save your video. So it should say C. Um, that's your thing. So I'm just going to click Users, Computer Techie, Documents, and then click on Select Output Pictures. And now it is determined where it's going to save it at. And then click Animate or Anim and that is going to render your intro. It takes a long time to make this intro unfortunately but it is really worth making. It took me about a day and a half to do it all. Um, if you have a slow computer I don't recommend doing this but uh, it's really cool and if you have any more questions go ahead and leave me a comment or send me a message. Really appreciate it. Thanks.